Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So, um, so given the relate, given this relationship between um, x and y here, can we truly say that y is inversely proportional to x? So remember, when you're given when you're given this here, you should visualize this inside your mind, a, a, gra a reciprocal graph. So, so it will it will um, it will have this kind of a relationship. But remember, um, a, 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 um, a graph like this. Will, will give you a, a relationship like this. But don't forget, this graph here, hang on, this graph here, you can also say that this is um, inverse, well, you can say, for this graph here, you can also say y is, uh, is inversely proportional to x, because it's still, it's still a reciprocal graph. But you see, this k here is different from, from this k here. And remember, if, if you um, if you have another graph like this, something like this, you could also say that this y here is um, is inversely proportional to x. But it's just that this k here is is still let's call it k1 here, and this is k2, and this is k k3. You see, all these k's are different. The k represents the scenario that you're in. So well, and anyway. Given, given this relationship here, x and y here, can we, can we truly say that, um, that y is, uh, is, uh, y is inversely proportional to x? Um, so, so visualize, uh, this kind of graph inside your mind. And remember, um, when, whenever, whenever you have this, you can also jump to, um, jump to y equals, um, a, a constant, uh, times times the reciprocal here. Okay, so, so this here gets multiplied to the top. So it really becomes y equals kx. Okay? Um, yeah, so, so, so determine if, uh, if this is a, well, well, look at this here. If you times both sides by x, y, y, x equals k, then, then if you get y times x, for it to, for it to be truly a, um, uh, a, an inversely proportional relationship, then it must, well, it must always be true. When, when you get x times y, it must always be the same number. Well, anyway, do whatever you want. Determine if this is really, truly, y is inversely proportional to x. Okay, so press pause and have a go. Okay, so, so let's just say, suppose it is, um, uh, so suppose y is inversely proportional to x. So that means we, we, we can jump, when you're given this here, you you, sh you should visualize this inside your mind, and you should also visualize this k over x. Okay. Um, so now, if if you if you times both sides by x, so it will be y x should always be a, a number, should always be the same number. So here, if we get if you if you put this into the uh, into the x here. Okay, and then you put the 10 into the y here, so um, it, it will be, uh, in, in this case here, this k here is 20 in this case here. Okay, now let's put, let's put 5 here into the x here, so that will be 5 times y, uh, y is 4, so you put the 4 into the y here. So it's 4 times 5, so this here is also uh, the k here is also 20. Um, now let's put this one here, which is x here into the 6, um, and then put 1 here into the y here. So it's, it's really 1 times 6, which is 6. So this k here, it's a different k here. So, um, so here you, you, you cannot say that y is inversely proportional to x. Because, how, how, uh, because if, if, um, if y is proportion, if y is truly inversely proportional to x, then, then, then all these here should all be the same. Okay? But, but, but they're not. Well, anyway, uh, look, look at this here. Hang on, hang on. Let me plot the graph here. So here, when x is 2, when x is 2, y is 10. So this here is, um, this here is x. Okay? So, so when, when x is 2, y is 10. So it's up here. When x is 5, y is 4. So I'm going to guess 5 to be around here. Well, so it would be here. Uh, yep. Well, when, when x is 5, y is 4. And then, um, when x is 6, 
you see what hang on earlier we had y equals um so y it, it was y x equals uh 20 for for this one and this one here also 20 um uh, 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 um yeah, so, so really, the, the K here, if, if you rearrange it, so, so Y, uh, divide both sides by X, so Y equals 20 over X. You see, this 20 here, this 20 here represents a K. This is our K. You see, for this case here, our K is 20, 20. If, if this is truly, well, if, if this is 20, then, then Y should be, hang on, uh, uh let, let me get my calculator. Uh, if, if, um, if if x is six here, if we put six into this thing here, then then we can work out y. Now if if uh, if if k if, if this is twenty here, if if k here is twenty, then uh, then we should get hang on, uh, y will be uh, twenty divided hang on twenty divided by six divided by six here. So 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 here if if um well if 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 y is truly inversely proportional to x, then this value here should be uh, 3.3333 recurring. Okay, so about 3.3. So if if um, if y is truly um, inversely proportional to to uh, to x here, then then it should be around here. Hang on, six. So it should be 3.3 somewhere around here. Okay, but our value here is when, when x is six here, uh, uh, y is one. You see, it's around here. You see, if for for y to be truly for y to truly be inversely inversely proportional to um, to x, then then the that the the, uh, the point should be here. So so the graph will look something like this. Hang on. So the graph will look something like this. But our our point here is somewhere down here. So um so so we so here we, we can basically y is not uh, inversely proportional to x. Uh, if 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 the point if if this were three point three here, then it will be. But well anyway, y is not uh, inversely. Well, you, you get the idea.